Good, good morning. We are, here we are with Jens Johansson from the Sotorarius and we are going to do an interview about Rockfest and, and other things about the band and him. Uh, good morning, Jens. Good morning, or You're good afternoon. Or? Yeah, good <laughs> fact. You play already here in Rockfest. Are you excited for tonight? Yes, it should be great. Uh, I think we were here in 2014 or something. Yeah. Uh, and I remember that as being really nice. So. Good food and you know the whole thing. You know, when you play, you, you tend to think of the other stuff like uh, that's around too, like, like nice weather and good food. And, yeah. It's been three years that you have released Eternal, which yes. is, I think it's a great album in, uh, in the line of the old Super Venus albums. Uh, are there any plans of recording any new album? We have Eternal? plans. Uh, we probably should have. We had plans already like two years ago to start to have an album out now, but it didn't happen. Because everybody's been busy doing other things, so uh, I think next year. Uh, but in the fall, there's one album coming, which has like a couple of new songs and a bunch of uh, previously unreleased in Europe stuff, like Japanese tracks and. Uh, yeah, it's sort of like this intermission one we did back in the year 2000, where we didn't have an album. We put like out something called intermission. So this is like basically the same thing. It's like intermission two. It's a working title, but I don't know what's going to be called. Okay. Maybe um, we call it Panic. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are with Timokoti Palto, the most long lasting member of the Yeah, I think he's longer than me, but yeah. yeah a little bit. Yeah. How do you feel being so like the, the veteran people in the band with all the new blood here with Laurie, Rolf, Matthias? It's very good. Uh, I think, you know, the people who are in the band, they, they, they get picked to be in the band because they are sensible people so it's like an ageless thing in a way but of course um, in a way we might have had a little bit more experience with this business things and you know, things like that but I think my idea anyway was always that everybody should have influence on the direction the band will take and I think it's worked out pretty good because we have you know with this fresh new blood we had the band the band takes like a different uh, direction uh, and I think that's important for me because it's more fun you know, we get surprised uh, now talking about rainbow how did you take a part in the reunion of rainbow they sent me a mail <laughs> it's actually funny they sent me a mail and it ended up in this like spam filter so it's like then i got the second mail like D don't you want to play in rainbow like what what do you mean like uh, and i looked in the spam folder and it was like so how is working with Richard Blackmore? It's, I think it's really nice um, because I uh, am a big fan of all the stuff that he's been doing you know, since the 70s. So for me it's of course it's like a very special thing since I've, it's like part of my growing up. And this music is like very much a part of why I became a musician in the first place. So for that reason it's great. But he's also a very nice guy. I know he has a bad reputation but I think most of the stuff is from uh, his younger days. I think he was more, he was more hardcore when he was younger. <laughs> now it's like, no, oh, it's cool. Are there any plans for more shows and recording CD or Rainbow? CD, I don't know, but uh, <coughs> more shows, maybe there's some talk. You know, like, let's maybe do it. But Richie decides. Do you know if it's possible a show in Spain? Or? It's possible, yeah. yeah. There's been talk about this for three years. Ah, we should do a show in Spain. Ah, yeah, because we would love to see Rainbow here. Yeah, I know. Of course. Well, he's a Spanish citizen now. Yeah. And um, now going back to, into the old early days, how was working with Dio and Ingrid Malmsteen? Well, it was two different bands and two, yeah. two completely different situations. But uh, I, for me, it was great fun too. Now I sound like some sort of positive kind of guy. I'm not really, but <laughs> it was fun though. I mean, uh, I think, especially with Ingrid. Those days were quite exciting because this music was coming, you know, like the first time. Um, with Dio, it was like more, you know, when I when I joined Dio, it was right when this grunge was coming, so it was a little bit like, oh, what are we gonna do? And he, he actually disbanded the band right after I joined, and he joined Sabbath again, and then he put Dio back together like three years later. Or something. So I think he was also a little bit the crossroads, trying to figure out what he's gonna do. But, uh, it was still a very nice situation. He's very, very, very good guy, uh, and I know that Richie and him never got along after like '79 or something like this. But I, I still quite, quite don't understand why, because 
they were both really nice. <laughs> it should have been possible for them to, to, to connect again, but it just never happened. Um, are you proud of being called the most fast keyboard player in the world? I, I, I don't think I am, but uh, it's not something I would be proud of. It's nice, you know, people t say it as a compliment, I guess. Well, that's an insult. <laughs> if it's an insult, then I'm not proud. If it's a compliment, then I'm proud. How is it your relationship nowadays with Timo Tolkien? Uh, it's... I, I don't talk to him very often. Uh, it's like by email. Uh, I think he's doing okay, he's alive and everything is good, you know, like... Uh, so it's not a bad relationship. Uh, but, of course, it was much more intense when he was part of the band and stuff. We would talk, like, every day, or mail or long tours together and stuff. So, of course, I drifted a bit out of touch with him, but I think I still, you know, I have nothing against the guy, in a way. Like, uh, and I would love for him to do good. I'm, I'm some, somehow thinking, uh, trying to look out for him. You know, and he is now doing very well with his own sort of very band. Yeah, he's doing, I think he's, he's working. I, mean, I think also he's like a, one of the reasons he's not in Satwaris anymore is because I think he didn't want to work so much. So I think he's also found a good level, you know, between working too much and working too little. I hope at least. Like, uh, and I, of course, I hope he's doing good. But the, as I said. I don't speak to him or write to him so often, but you know, sometimes there's mail. This is, I think, a very tough question, but you normally play on shows until high and low that time with your hits. Would you like to play more Ray songs in the set, repeating all the hits? Would you like to do that, or are you tired of playing them? No, I think it's... You have to sort of look at the whole situation. People come there because they want to hear the hits. So, of course... You, and of course you are part of that, because when the audience is happy, you become happy. So it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't see a problem with it, you know, like... Uh, like I know some artists say that, like, oh, I'm so tired of saying something wrong, or what it might be. <laughs> but I, I think it's, it's part of the deal, when you want to entertain people, you have to make sure that they are entertained. Do you remember when you entered in the band in 1995? Oh, nine, nine, five, six. Yeah, something like this. If I remember, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's uh, like I, like I said before. The nineties were a strange time because this metal music, let's say like eighty nine or ninety, it went down a bit, and then came this grunge. Uh, and I was very lucky because I joined Sardarius, which was like then a European band because I was living in the United States at the time. Sardarius was European. And we sort of caught this wave of metal coming back the second time in Europe, which was like 95, 96, 98, 97. Uh, the timing was like perfect. And of course I was like, well, you know, this sounds interesting. I, I like the songs. That, that's the only thing, but I, I thought for sure metal was dead. You know? I, I thought the songs were great, you know. So it's like, well, you know, why not? It became again pretty great and you are Yeah, it became, great. it sort of exploded, no, it but is. it wasn't like Stradivarius exploded. I think the whole scene exploded. And there was, uh, some bands were doing it right at the same time that we were doing it, like Hammerfall, Halloween had a resurgence. Uh, but then after that, of course, came a bunch of new bands, which made it even more exciting. It was like Nightwish and Children of Bottom, Tough Convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really amazing. What can you tell us about the audition with Print Are you a fan of that? Yeah, I'm, I am. Uh, what can I tell you about the audition? Oh, it's true, it's false. It's false. No, no, it's true. Uh, <laughs> what year was that? I think that was around the same time, 93 or 95 or something. Uh, I just tried out with it. You know, stuff. Um, which are your plans with Mr. Varios and Rainbow for the future? Well, Mr. Varios, we are going to make another album. Probably we've come in 2019. Uh, we have this 2018 album, which is like sort of... It's not a real album, but it's like a, I would say, similar to this intermission that we did in the year 2000. Uh, in connection with that, we have a tour with Tata Turun and we did European dates. Uh, I think not Spain, actually, but a bunch of Europe dates. Um, and apart from that, with Rainbow, I think maybe there are more dates if Richie feels like it. If he doesn't feel like it, then we will. So we're coming to the end of the interview, and I would like you to...
to learn what the place is about. This is your favorite the radio song, and why? My favorite song uh, at the moment. You know, if I had to pick one today, then I pick this four out of three. I think we're gonna start with that today. It's like from it's from Vision's album. I can't remember. That's like a good good starter. We haven't played that so often. Uh, powerful. So we're gonna have some treasures in the set. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, for sure. There's like the old fans and new fans should not be disappointed. I think that's like, uh, we only have one hour, but uh, yes. Very short time. Yeah, no, but it's quite easy. Then you make a short point, and you know, like yeah. people can rest and have plenty of beer, and then comes Halloween, and then like plenty of beer. <laughs> so thank you very much for your interview again, yes, and I wish you the best for tonight, and finish the interview how you please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good to be here. Thank you very much. Yes. Bye bye.